you will be shocked what an Igbo man is saying with regards to the southern governor's demand that henceforth DSS must not enter any state to carry out an operation without informing them. He says it is unprofessional for DSS to take permission before carrying out any activity. Can you imagine? Before, you know, take permission from governors. So you just barge into people's states like that, not going through the normal protocol to know who is in charge, where you are going to. You just barge into people's premises. I don't think that's very, I don't think that's very correct. I don't think so. This was a statement the Southern governors made uh, with regards to Chief Sunday Igbohu, where they said, Henceforth, they will not permit that DSS barge into their state, did what they did to like somebody like Sunday Igbohu and walk away without, they wake up the next morning and are hearing it from the news in doubt whether it is true or false. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. I tell you, many of our brothers and sisters from the East, the way they talk, the way they behave, their disposition shows that I don't know, I don't know what to say. Let's get all the details. You'll be shocked what an Igbo man just said. It's unprofessional for DSS to take permission from governors before any operation. Mike Ajo for Former director of the Department of State Services, Mr. Mike Ejofo, spoke with the Punch newspaper and he revealed that it would be unprofessional for the DSS to take permission from governors before any operation in their states. If you could recall that the DSS operative stormed Chief Sunday Boho's home, Southern governors said the permission, that permission must be taken from them before any such operation occur in their states that they will not permit this any time such things happen. Mr. Ejiofo said that he does not agree with what the southern governors have said, that on particular issues, even though he agrees with other resolution at their meeting, but he told the punch that from his own experience, taking permission from a governor before a classified operation is done anywhere he does not know how the southern governors will advise on that decision and he does not think it is right. There are certain operations that are high classified, so the governors does not need to know, but the president is aware, classified, and they have to use the people from outside the states, like what they did, you know, they said they were, they were French-speaking people, outside the state because of the suspicious nature and other reasons. So I don't see any reason behind the governor's decision if DSS or any other security agencies has to do come to them and take permission. The exhibition and the operation might have been compromised. I asked with other resolution at the meeting. I do agree, but on seeking permission to search Chief Sunday Boho's house, I completely disagree. But you know what was done to Chief Sunday Boho's house? You know his house was, was destroyed. His cars were shot at. Was anybody hiding inside the car? Is that part of the is that part of the premise of their job? Because when you guys are speaking, you speak like somebody who has no 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 sense at all. There are certain operations that are high classified, and we have to use people from outside the states and outside the country. And such a high profile state work, if it's discussed with anybody could compromise it. The former DSS boss also said that he served in the DSS for 35 years and is sure that the follow, the follow, they followed due process by obtaining search warrant before going to... You are sure. It's not as if you know, but you are sure. Does not mean that you know truly what really happened. You see, these are some of the things that happen. The southern governors came together and they said, well, what happened in their state is unprecedented and they will not condole it again that you know they, they are saying it's high profile so who were those that we are in in the loop of that high profile but not the governor you are not understanding it the governor of the state is not in the loop of that very high profile but some people who are not governors of the state are in the loop of that high profile. can't you see that something is wrong can't you sincerely see that something is wrong how do we explain all those things that are happening how do we reconcile all those things that are happening there are clear indications that, you know, some people do not, I mean, they speak with both sides of the mouth. 
when you look at everything that is happening, you know that something is seriously wrong in this country. Honestly speaking, something is wrong. Brothers selling away brothers. They cannot even speak for their own. Sisters selling away sisters. You know, states selling away each other. All in a bid for money, position, affluence, and influence. Is that the way you look after your own? We don't do that. You don't do that. When you do that, you sell out your own. And guess what? The other people are laughing at you. You're saying the 17,000 governors that sat down and they looked at it and they said, no, what happened in all your state was wrong and should never be done. You say they are wrong. They are all wrong. That you don't know how they were advised. I profile case or not, somebody was in the loop. Do you mean that the head of DSS is even is now more prominent? Yes, uh, than even the governor of the state. It will be compromised being that maybe uh, she Sunday boy will be informed that they are coming or what. The people they killed, you did not talk about that because you are alive. They went to his house. They did not just search. If they have a search warrant, is that how to search a home? They pulled down his home, destroyed everything. If you look at the pictures closely, they even broke inside the house. Destroying everything. His cars, cash, jewelry, driver's license, everything they took away. Went ahead and declared him wanted. And you say it's alright, it's okay. You say it's alright, it's okay. I mean, I don't understand where these things are coming from. But as we speak, Nigeria, we are, we are, we are in a very particular place where if God does not save us, I mean, I don't, know, I don't know where we are headed. You know, there are so many things going on right now. If God does not uh, defend us, you know, we don't know where we are going. Because a lot of persons have their own idea, uh, their own agenda, you know, and all these things that are happening is a clear indication that things are not all right. No, things are not all right. People you think should know the law and should speak, they don't speak. They are all quiet, they are all silent, doing their own thing. And when you look at it, you'll be wondering, what kind of a nation are we really in? No decorum, no law and order. Things are just done anyhow. Those who call themselves whatever, just do as they please and no questions asked. What a shame. Oh, shame. Leave us a comment. We really like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. Do let it count. It's important. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.